Thanks for checking out this episode of Brutal Battle Beer Break. As you can tell, I look a bit disheveled for this one. I was actually just at the gym uh, maybe about an hour or so ago. Got a steak cooking behind me back there. Um, what better to go with steak and a bit baked potato, which we're making as well, than some beer? Um, I'm going hoppy because you know me, love the hops. Uh, this entry is from Deschutes Brewery out of uh, Bend, Oregon. I've had, I believe, one other Deschutes thing on the uh, Brutal Battle Beer Break, which I think was their Hop in the Dark uh, Black IPA. So the Chasin' Freshies is what we have. It's a fresh hop IPA with mosaic hops. And I'll tell you, I can see all sorts of sediment in there. Um, so liquefied hops basically is exciting. Uh, alcohol is 7.4% alcohol by volume, and it actually has a best buy date on here, and we're a little past it, so I'm hoping it's still really tasty. We'll find out. Um, but thank you so much to Shoots for doing a best buy date. Bottle date, best buy date, whatever. So there's the label for Chase and Freshies. Oh, very cool, huh? All right, let's see how this stacks up. You see some of the sediment just flying out into my glass. Oh yeah, you can see it. See all the stuff just floating in there. I don't know if you can tell or not, but it's very yellowish looking, little orangish tinge to the yellow. Definitely stuff floating in there. Ooh, smells very citrusy. <sighs> Getting like a a little bit of like a light caramel mixed in with the citrusiness it's like <clears throat> a juicy orange or like a little bit of like clement clementine juice added to that as well but definitely smells very juicy with just like the slightest bit of like a caramel note on the end which i feel like for me mosaic hops typically give me that kind of like bit of like a caramelly under undertone for it it's basically all i can get it smells pretty vibrant for being past its best buy date. Yeah, still good, still good. I'm assuming it was probably even more citrusy um, at the time of, of the bottling or even, you know, maybe a month ago or so it was still pretty citrusy. I'm getting that caramel, um, that little bit of carameliness on the finish, but getting a whole lot of like hot bitterness on there, um, a lot of kind of like juiciness, uh, clementine slash um, orange, a little bit of that kind of like the rind flavor to go with it um, from that clementine and orange. Yeah, it's good. This, this, this will be good to go with my steak and potato. Um, so anyone out there interested in what they've heard of this beer, I would recommend it. It is interesting. I know my um, sister-in-law, Emily, said it's probably her favorite offering from uh, Deschutes. Uh, once again, they're chasing freshies, fresh hop IPA. People try it, uh, but try and get it fresher than, than I got it. So sorry, Deschutes, I didn't do it justice. But mosaic hops, always good hops. Anyway, thank you so much, everyone, for tuning into this one. And go grab yourself a beer.